Hello, my name is Pauline and today I'll be showing you how to help your body recover post-workout with a foam roller. Now this can be done in addition to stretching because healing your muscles is just as important as exercising them. Let's get started. The following sequence is focused on our upper body. So we're going to start kneeling. If you need to fold up your mat for extra padding underneath those knees, go for it. We're going to take our foam roller right out in front of us, kind of close to our body, not too far out. And we're going to start with our forearms here, so palms down and just start to slowly roll into this. Now I'm just going to be demonstrating some foam roller exercises, but if you want to hang out and do them a little longer, feel free to pause this video and do it till you work out those knots and then pop right back in if you need to. And you can always go slower or faster, whatever works. Fabulous. We're going to come up and now we're going to get a little shoulder stretch on each side. So we're keeping one hand on that foam roller, the other is gonna loop underneath, palm facing up towards that sky. And you can just ease your way into it. And if you wanna ease in and out, if that shoulder's extra tight, feel free to do so. Awesome, go ahead, bring it all the way up and we're just gonna switch it out and take it over to the other side, flip it over. And one side might be a lot tighter than the other. That's completely normal. And awesome. Go ahead, bring it on up. We're going to work on our bicep a little bit here, our tricep. We're going to work on our tricep a little bit here. So palm facing out with thumb up. And we're going to aim here for this part of the muscle here kind of that back of your upper arm. And this might be tighter. It's a hard muscle to exercise and equally as difficult to stretch. Fabulous, and do it, bring it up, switching it out. Getting that same little muscle there on the other arm. Great recovery from tricep dips, maybe an overhead tricep extension if you're feeling tightness back here. Awesome. Go ahead, bring that foam roller same direction away from you now. Maybe come up a little higher in the hands and knees. Similar to when we had that stretch underneath, we're going to come here, but we want to keep that thumb up again. We're getting into our outer bicep. So see how I'm not on the back of the arm where the tricep was, but getting into that bicep and just massaging it there. We tend to use our bicep muscles the most throughout the day, so even if you haven't exercised them, this might be a good one for you. Fabulous. And bring it up, switching it out, taking it to the other side again. Thumb up, so not the back of the arm, but right in between. bringing it back up. Now we're going to come to lying down. So take your time, maybe walk it back. I'm going to start on one arm and then do the same exercises over on the other. So I'm coming down nice and gentle, nice and easy. We're going for that inner bicep right here, that inner arm muscle, the one you see most easily. So the palm is down and you're going to guide this arm to just kind of rock side to side. Right into it. Ooh, I can feel a knot there. <laughs> a few more. Fabulous. And then go ahead and bring it in. So see how right now I have it underneath that arm? Now we're going to take the foam roller into the shoulder a little bit more, right here into this front deltoid. And again, you can keep that arm straight. Sometimes I like to bend and straighten it a little bit. Just work my way in there. This muscle might be tight if you've done some push-ups as of late. And bring it on up slightly. We're going to actually switch over to the first side just because we have it over here. And come over onto our side body, bending that bottom knee just for a little assistance here. And we're flipping it right to center. We're getting into our lateral deltoid here. So kind of like you're leaning into it. 
And we're gonna take this hand and help and assist here, keeping that palm up, working into that outer shoulder, outer upper shoulder, really. Bring it into it. Awesome. And go ahead, we're just gonna flip it over, switching sides, bring it to center, take it over the other side, keeping that right where it already is. Remember, leaning that shoulder into it, palm is up, that arm, and just roll side to side. Or forward and back, I should say. Fabulous. Bring it back to center and flip it over onto the other side, back onto our bellies here. And we're going to get into that shoulder, so bring it real close. Palm down or bend or work your way into it. Just massage into that upper inner shoulder. Sometimes I like to bring that thumb down. Whatever it takes, you gotta work your way into it. Some days this one is very tight. If you're holding a lot of tension in your shoulders and keeping your shoulders close to your ears. Fabulous, Got to bring it back to center. Bring it here. We're getting into that bicep again. On the other side, rolling it out and in, I think a little closer. Feel free to make adjustments whenever you need to. Fabulous, okay. Bring it back to neutral, slowly press it up. Maybe let's take a little child's pose on our way there. Good job, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I'll see you then.